Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-4769. Object Class, Keter, previously Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-4769 is to be contained in a standard containment cell in a permanent state of unconsciousness with cameras, heart rate monitors, and brainwave mapping equipment to be monitored by no less than three Level 4 Foundation personnel at all times. The subject is to be kept permanently engaged within an advanced simulation achieved through the direct stimulation of the optical nerves and the prefrontal cortex of the brain. A highly modified Cray supercomputer is utilized in the simulation of the containment environment. All hardware relating to the simulation of SCP-4769's containment environment is to be kept at a temperature below 190 degrees Celsius using a constant flow of liquid nitrogen. Upon fortnightly maintenance procedures, SCP-4769 is to be placed into a strong induced coma and temperatures are to be increased to minus 50 degrees Celsius to allow technicians to survey the system for signs of disrepair and clear out debris which may impact the functioning of the device. Due to SCP-4769's abnormally high levels of brain activity, sedative effectiveness is reduced to a time span of roughly three hours. Consciousness of the subject is not deemed to be an immediate threat, however this should be actively avoided to maintain the immersion of SCP-4769 within the simulation. Description SCP-4769 is a Class IV reality bender with the appearance of an adult East Indian male, estimated to be around 50 to 60 years old, with an average body build and receding gray hair. Subject appears to be biologically human, yet does not require any form of sustenance to live. Prior to containment following Incident 4769-1, subject was found to be actively employed at university as a physics lecturer and self-identifies as such. However, individuals found to have interacted with SCP-4769, which were interviewed uniformly, could not recall how or when SCP-4769 came to become a lecturer, its name, or if the subject entered or exited the premises at any point in time. Students directly taught frequently by SCP-4769 exhibited no anomalous or particularly strange traits of their own other than a relative lack of knowledge in physics-related subjects compared to other classes. Interviewees were administered Class B amnestics and released back into the public. SCP-4769 appears to have control over its perceived reality and is able to manipulate the physical properties of space around it in an undefined radius. Observation has revealed the subject's anomalous abilities are only activated through vocalization or written words. Subject seems oblivious to its anomalous abilities, even after their effects cause drastic alteration to its surroundings. SCP-4769 appears to be invulnerable to the effects of its own manipulation. However, it can be harmed directly by external forces. All attempts of photography of SCP-4769 have turned out heavily degraded, which Dr. Hopper theorizes may be a passive effect of the subject's reality manipulation and linked to its anti-memetic effects on individuals which it has interacted with. SCP-4769 rests in a dormant state during times outside of its teaching schedule, a time frame between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. During this dormant state, SCP-4769 is inattentive and extremely hard to coerce into talking unless the topic of the conversation is somewhat physics-orientated. SCP-4769 has displayed doctorate-level knowledge within classical mechanics, thermodynamics, relativity, electronics, quantum mechanics, and astrophysics. However, it lacks a basic understanding of virtually anything else. Attempts to stop SCP-4769 from discussing or writing about physics-related topics has resulted in SCP-4769 discussing these subjects far more vigorously than if left to its normal teaching schedule. As such, preventing SCP-4769 from speaking about physics is strictly prohibited to prevent unnecessary simulation resets. Addendum SCP-4769 Dr. Hopper's Subject, Discovery, and Containment SCP-4769 was discovered by Foundation personnel 
after news of extreme slipperiness had caused sudden wide-scale car crashes on the road. Mobile Task Force Beta 23, Crowbar, was deployed to stabilize the situation and identify the cause of the anomaly. SCP-4769 was found in the center of the radius of the effect, absent-mindedly teaching a group of students. SCP-4769 acknowledged Foundation personnel and was compliant in its capture, if not mildly annoyed for disturbing others' learning. SCP-4769 was transported for interrogation at site with no incident. Later analysis of the lecture revealed that the subject had neglected to account for friction within a hypothetical scenario involving the kinematics of a car on the affected nearby road. After presenting this to SCP-4769 and highlighting the error, it proceeded to correct the equation, restoring the road to its previous state. SCP-4769's object class was reclassified from Euclid to Keter by Dr. Hopper. This was a lot worse than we could have imagined. This idiot makes a single mistake and we're done. Dr. Hopper All civilians involved in the incident were administered Class A amnestics and a cover story involving a sudden sleep buildup in a freak snowstorm was dispersed. Interview Log First Interview with SCP-4769 Interviewed SCP-4769 Interviewer Dr. Hopper First interview with SCP-4769. Interview conducted by Dr. Hopper in a mobile interrogation vehicle after first encounter at Begin Log, 1843 hours. Hello, 4769. I'm Ease, call me Rich. Unfortunately, I must refer to you as SCP-4769 as per Foundation regulations. SCP-4769 diverts gaze from Dr. Hopper to the wall behind Dr. Hopper. Are you okay to proceed with this interview? Yes. As I was saying, my name is Dr. H. Can you tell us how you got here? I don't know. What were you doing? SCP-4769's gaze drifts onto Dr. Hopper's watch. 4769? Teaching. And what is it you teach exactly? Physics. Although I can teach maths pretty well, too. Also, can draw pretty well, but sometimes I can get carried away. I completely lost last examination's results that way. SCP-4769 again slips into a state of inattentiveness, seemingly reminiscing of the act. Are you aware of what happened today? SCP-4769 retains its state of inattentiveness. SCP-4769, it's sir to you, young man. Do not answer questions when you have not been asked. It, it really slows down the lesson. If everybody asked a question instead of listening to what I say the first time... Okay, okay, we get it. Somebody please shut him up. Yes, three milliliters of midazolam should be fine. We're done here. End log. 1858 hours. SCP-4769 continued rambling about classroom etiquette for the following seven minutes before succumbing to the effects of the sedative and falling unconscious. Interview terminated. Excerpt from Document 4769 Alpha, Dr. Hopper's Simulation Observation Log. SCP-4769 Observation Log 12, 0912, 2000. Location. Simulated high school classroom. Cause. Subject misspells spectra, S-P-E-C-T-R-A, as spectra, S-P-E-K-T-R-A. Area of effect, 200 meter radius. Effect. Spelling in dictionaries altered to match SCP-4769's assertion. Containment action. Simulation reset by on-hand staff under the supervision of Dr. Hopper. SCP-4769, Observation Log 79, 1202, 2000. Location, Simulated High School Classroom. Cause, Subject asserts that objects of exactly equal mass cancel each other's gravity out. Area of Effect, Observable Universe. Effect, Simulation freezes. Several components of the Cray supercomputer heat up drastically, 
and risk destruction before simulation is reset. Containment action. Sedative administered. Simulation reset by Dr. Hopper. Cray supercomputer components upgraded to mostly be composed with a tantalum carbide and tungsten composite material. Additional temperature regulation cores installed within critical areas of the supercomputer. SCP-4769 Observation Log 103 0310 2000 Location Simulated University Lecture Hall Cause Subject accidentally labeled the gravitational acceleration on Earth at sea level was 98 milliseconds minus 2 in a lecture. Area of effect Earth Effect Everything on Earth is exposed to the new gravitational acceleration of 98.0 milliseconds minus 2 and is compacted accordingly. Earth is reduced to a radius of kilometers. Containment action. Sedative administered. Due to the strain on the simulation hardware caused by a fundamental rewrite to the physics engine, additional cores were added to the central processing unit to increase computational power. SCP-4769 Observation Log 117 0705 2000 Location Simulated High School Classroom Cause Light speed incorrectly asserted by subject Area of effect Undefined Effect Simulation device experiences catastrophic failure Ceases function Subject wakes up from comatose state Containment action Subject issued with sedative Simulation now programmed to reset immediately upon mention of light speed. Investigation into utilizing SCP-866 is a more effective means of simulation. Excerpt from Document 4769 Beta, Dr. Hopper's Simulation Experimentation Log. SCP-4769's ability to manipulate the laws of physics could prove to be a useful tool to better understand the laws which define our universe. The magnitude of scientific discovery possible which could aid the Foundation and humanity as a whole is simply too great to pass up. Permission to run experiments within SCP-4769 simulation requested. Dr. Hopper Testing approved by O5 Command on 1108-2000 Dr. Hopper modifies the simulation to allow communication between himself and the subject through the avatar of a simulated student. Simulation reset after each test. Test 1. SCP-4769 is suggested to draw a diagram for a hypothetical situation where the sun is compressed into a black hole. Result. Planetary orbits remain unchanged. After 8 minutes and 20 seconds, sunlight ceases. Results matched our calculations perfectly. Continue with testing. Dr. Hopper. Test 2. SCP-4769 is suggested to conduct an experiment where the efficiency of a DC motor is set to 110%. Result: DC motor appears to spin indefinitely and generates electricity without an external power source. Really excited about this next one. This could be the breakthrough we've been waiting for, Dr. Hopper. Test 3. SCP-4769 is suggested to draw a diagram of a sustainable fusion reactor. Result. SCP-4769 drew a crude, childlike sketch of the outside of the reactor. When asked to draw the insides, SCP-4769 drew a model depicting two helium atoms undergoing fusion into a hydrogen atom. She keep... Dr. Hopper. Test 4. SCP-4769 is asked about what would happen if the temperature of water were to decrease to 0.000001 Kelvin, then briefly to absolute zero, zero Kelvin, two seconds later, returning to greater than zero Kelvin at the five second mark. Dr. Hopper specifically refers the hypothetical scenario to a 250 milliliter beaker filled with water to demonstrate its effects practically. The beaker was suspended 7 meters above the ground by a clamp sitting atop a table to best observe predicted effects. Result: The hydrogen lost all viscosity and became a superfluid, immediately sinking through the pores of the borosilicate glass, calculated to have an average diameter of around 0.92 micrometers, and continued sinking through otherwise impermeable material. The oxygen briefly transformed into a liquid state 
then a solid, taking on a blue-tinted cubic crystalline form. The surrounding atoms coalesce together into a Bose-Einstein condensate, the atoms of the oxygen, hydrogen, and their surroundings becoming indistinguishable. At exactly two seconds into the experiment, both the solid and the liquid became suspended in place, with zero movement detected from even a molecular level. All affected matter simultaneously became to the human eye. Simulation records affected atoms from test as far as light years from point of experiment at the six second mark. Was found in seemingly into a state of simulation reaches a critical temperature of degrees Celsius before reset at 6.3 seconds. We still aren't quite sure what we just observed. I don't think that was meant to be observed. I'm beginning to think there is a reason absolute zero isn't possible according to our laws of physics. Dr. Harper. Test 5. SCP-4769 is suggested to divide a number by zero. Result. Supercomputer ceases operation immediately. I really don't know what I thought was going to happen with that one. Still, we can improve from here on. Dr. Hopper. Testing ceased as ordered by O5 Command. Recall protocol. In the event of a containment breach, subject is to be carefully escorted into a temporary containment chamber and administered sedatives. Due to the oblivious nature of the subject, there is no immediate threat. It is advised that the subject is immersed in the simulation as soon as possible to avoid distress. Should the subject be uncooperative, the subject is to be sedated and re-immersed in the simulation immediately. Notes SCP-4769 is beginning to show signs of remembering pieces of information from past simulation resets, expressing increasing levels of bewilderment and déjà vu. He's learning. Simulation resets are to be kept at a minimum from now on. Dr. Hopper This concludes today's lecture. Thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Zargaran O Crap Guy, Big Sip, Rowan O'Brien, Jack Wall, James Saba, Lost Boy, Signar, Your Local Foundation Agent, Zazapan, Worthy Fire, Cupster, Dean Dingus, Braided Peach, Kignac, Mr. Duchuk, Sato Vos, Oscuro Vision, Grimnir, Extra Moments 123, Swift Raw, and Abavi. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.